Do you remember when having 4GB RAM was a big deal? It used to be enough for gaming and everything else. And now even 8GB is starting to feel like the minimum. These days games and softwares are much more demanding. And we all ask the same question. Kitna RAM chahiye? How much RAM do you really need? Is 8GB enough? 16 GB enough or 32 GB? So in today's video, we will test 8 GB, 16 GB, 24 GB and 32 GB of RAM in some of the biggest AAA games and video editing tasks. And you will also get to know which one is worth your money. And just a quick note guys, these tests are done using DDR4 RAM stick. While DDR5 may provide the similar result, but they are not the same. So keep that in mind. And also for your reference, these are the system specification of my computer. So let's start with the basics. I have got Opera browser here and uh, we'll be opening multiple tabs, playing videos and doing some small activities like file transfer, documents and switching between apps. With 8GB RAM, you can browse and open few tabs, but it may lag if you open many tabs. 16GB is smoother for more tabs and apps. 24GB handles everything easily and 32GB is more than enough, which is amazing for heavy multitasking. To get accurate results, we tested some of the popular AAA games like Forza Horizon 5, GTA 5 and multiple games on our computer. So now let's take a look at how each configuration performed. As you can see, the 32GB gave us the highest FPS while the 8GB RAM struggled the most, giving us the lowest FPS. Jumping from 8GB to 16GB gives a huge difference in performance especially for APU builds like mine. From 16GB to 32GB, the difference in performance was less noticeable, with frame rates being pretty similar overall. So one cool advantage of having 32GB RAM is multi-gaming. Yes, you can actually run multiple AAA games simultaneously. So if you are done playing Valorant, then you can switch to Forza Horizon 5 and then jump to GTA 5 all without closing the application. So how cool is that? So if you are gaming on 8GB, upgrading to 16GB will give you a significant boost in the performance. So we also played GTA 5 in this PC. Once again, there was a huge jump in performance from 8GB to 16GB RAM with 32GB setup giving us max FPS of 80 in GTA 5 in 1080p low settings which is again a good number. So the next game we played on this PC is Valorant. So we removed all the RAM sticks and we only played in 8GB RAM and we were getting 60 FPS in 8GB RAM in Valorant in 1080p low graphics. So actually 60 FPS is not playable at all in competitive esports gaming because you need higher refresh rate. Uh, so we added one more RAM stick making it a whooping 16GB RAM and in 16GB we were getting more than 100 FPS. So even with 24GB and 32GB of RAM, the performance remained consistent giving us over 100 FPS with smooth gameplay. The only thing you need to consider is upgrading from 8GB to 16GB RAM gives you a major jump in the FPS but if you go above 16GB RAM then there is no much difference in the FPS. You get the same FPS, like slightly better FPS compared to 16GB RAM. So if you are getting 60 FPS in 16GB RAM, then you will get 65-68 FPS in 32GB RAM. We also tested rendering an 18 minute 1080p clip in Premiere Pro using different RAM configuration. And the results were clear. As expected, the 32GB RAM rendered the fastest, while 8GB RAM took the longest time. But what was interesting is that 16GB actually outperformed 24GB in rendering time. So if you are on a budget, dual channel 16GB will give you excellent performance compared to 24GB RAM. In Premiere Pro, the 32GB RAM setup gives you the fastest rendering. But 16GB is a solid option especially if you want to save money without sacrificing much speed. Ultimately, if you are a gamer or a content creator looking for a value, then 16GB is a solid choice. But if you want more performance than 16GB RAM, then going with 32GB RAM is worth your investment. So if you are looking for a good ergonomic chair like this, then watch this video on the left. And if you are looking for a good fiber connection, then watch this video on the right. Microphone check, make it a microphone check. Give it a microphone, I make the make it a microphone dead. Don't step to me, newbie, I can